Anything you need, you'll find it in Nairobi. We call it the city in the sun. Eh? <laughs> it accommodates all people. So anybody can fit in Nairobi. It's a good place to live. Growing up, I played soccer and rugby. I remember that time flipping through channels. I saw guys playing a game, but I couldn't understand how they were moving. They were like sliding, that was not running. And it was my dream to one day move like them. We took it upon ourselves to start recruiting Kenyans playing ice hockey. I was actually very interested in figure skating, but we went to the rink and we didn't really find anything to do with figure skating. But we found Ben there, and I think he's the one who actually told me they have something called hockey. If not for Ben, I think it could be really tough for us playing hockey. You know, hockey saved me from a lot of stuff. I'm just here for a while. That's just a stepping stone for me as I build myself upwards. Deep down, I have a dream for engineering. If something intrigues me, I have to like research about it. How does this thing work? I have to push myself further. I was raised all my life in Nairobi. I'm in university. I'm studying architecture. Architecture is art. Art is a way of expressing emotions. If you've scored a goal, it gives you that emotion. What actually got me into ice hockey was the beauty. Hockey is not easy. You have to really practice. I've always prayed if I could have like a full-time hockey job, yeah? I just get paid to play. I could become the next Greg Ski. Yeah. Being a team leader, it's not easy. So it came up with a lot of responsibilities, but I'm liking it so far. As a team, we practice twice a week. The team has around 20 players, and they're hoping to get more. We have different players coming from different parts of the city, different walks of life. If you play hockey, no one cares where you came from. If you had breakfast, let's just play. As you get to know people playing, it brings that feeling of belonging. So you feel like you're not alone in this world. There's only one ice rink in Kenya. We have no one to play. We only practice with each other. We we'll have limited resources. We don't have a coach like a coach. Basically, everything is through the internet. Most of the tutorials, I got them from YouTube. You read the books, watch videos, then practice. The skating fee is $9. Not everybody can afford that. Hockey is expensive. It's really expensive. I have to save up for a very long time just to buy it like a single stick. Burn this. Tear it off. Then I burn it a bit so I can be able to expand more. Yeah. Hallelujah. I was really struggling to find good gloves. But Ben found some small gloves and said, hey, I think they'd be good for you. The team is not fully geared. You don't have a helmet. You don't have the chest guard. To one given point, I bought hockey equipment. It caused trouble with my wife because she thought I was spending a lot of family money. She was not impressed at all. But if I don't play hockey, I feel like I'm not myself. She eventually understood that hockey was my passion. Both of my parents are really supportive of the sport, especially my mom, because she takes me to the rink at night, and then I go and skate, then her, she eats her food in the car, then she goes to sleep in the car. And all that time, I'm just playing and having fun. We're not here to pass time, we're here to train. And let's make something out of our training. Maybe some of us can play in the NHL, if not Olympics, yeah. To see Ben's dream from where it started, it's actually inspiring. We can do a straight line, yeah? Let's do it this way. To achieve our dreams, so there's a lot of work ahead of us. But we need another team to play.
We started a journey a few months ago. Any hockey player's dream is to maybe go to Canada. But finally, we've made it. So Canada, here we come. We are actually like the pioneers of hockey. And it's actually an honor to be like the ones who have begun the movement, begun the name ice hockey in Kenya. I get to board a plane and go to an outside country. I get to meet different people. I'm really excited. <laughs> this trip is a moral booster for our team. When our team comes back home, things will change. Our dreams will be closer to be achieved. You've been dreaming of going to Canada, you yes. yes, you should put me in your suitcase. Yes, I'll be the first one to go there. You should go check it out. Yes, bring me maple syrup for pancakes. <laughs> I think you'll get the shoes. Oh, and socks. <laughs> yes. When you go there in Canada, just pray very nice. Show what you can do. I show them all, all what I got. You are a very good boy, and I know you work hard for yourself. Oh, yeah. Are you surprised that he has so much success with hockey? A little bit, a little bit surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all other things, it's ice hockey that is taking you Places. to another continent. <laughs> yeah. and Out of Africa. And to the home of hockey. And to the, home, the home of, of hockey. hockey, yes, yes. Yeah. All that that you've done for me, even those that I can't see, but thank you for everything. I appreciate it. Oh, you're most welcome. You're most welcome. Mm. And we are there for you there anytime. For you. Yeah. I was thinking about that first time that I saw you skate. <laughs> I think you had that dazzling effect on me that you have on everybody else. I felt like I saw you in a new way that day. And Emma, that's the day I told you you have a really rare talent. You were made for the world. It's not been easy. It's been a tough journey for us. But I can see a better future ahead for us as a team. Sydney is yeah. my all-time favorite player. I wish one day I'd meet him. Canada is the home of hockey. Any hockey player would love to have the Canada experience. When you're walking through the rink and you saw guys playing, the rink was massive. It's so huge. It's like twice our ring. Guys, how are you? Welcome to Canada. Boys, you going fresh? Feeling good? Okay, all right. Never played in full gear. 
I'm fixed to make good place for you guys. Trying to put on all the new things, some of them have never even worn them, and I didn't know how to work them. Christmas comes early in Kenya. I started with nothing. I couldn't afford most stuff. But now I have full gear myself. It's a good feeling getting to gear up professionally. Okay, you know, it's a great day for us. We've always struggled, had so many challenges. It's a dream to be in Canada, to play our first game in full gear. It's all amazing. So let's try our best, let's push hard, and everything will fall our way. Hey guys. Oh. <laughs> the first person walked in, that was crossing me. I couldn't even move. Then I saw McKinnon's face over there. <laughs> Sydney. Seeing my favorite player coming through the door wearing our jersey. I felt like I was in heaven. Ah, 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 ah. Is this you? It's me, it's me. <laughs> it's such an honor for them to do this for us. I can't hold back my tears. The pressure was unbelievable. When we came out onto the ice, the crowd was like chanting and I was like, oh God, no. You take the face off. We get to compete against another team. You know, we used to playing against ourselves. I've never had so much fun like in my entire life. Being our first game out of Kenya, it was so amazing. Arnold scored. I don't know how it got in, but it did, and I was so happy at that moment. I scored right after Sydney did. Hey. We all played them, boys. We all played them. Is that yours? You got that? <laughs> Are you sure you got that or? Captain, right? Yes, you sir. get the game puck. That's the best part about the game, is just how it reaches so many people and a place like Kenya where you wouldn't think that there's even ice. I didn't really know what to expect, but I thought those guys looked great. It's cool to see the genuine excitement that they had, and it got us really fired up. To meet people from different places and to share the game that we love to play, I think I had just as much fun as any of those guys did. Great skater. You're a great skater. Keep it up. Yeah. I'm really honored for this experience. This goes down in the books. This is one of the greatest days ever. This whole story is really amazing. Hockey has changed my life in the best way ever. 
for me the most important thing out of all this is the journey. Being from the country we are and hockey bringing us all this way, it's unbelievable. We started with the dream. All well, the dream is coming true. One day, one day, everything will change. Yeah. This day will go down in history. For me personally and for the Ice Lions, the support that we're given by Tim Hortons will help us grow the sport in Kenya. We're going to start a massive recruitment of new generation players. The kids are the most blessed out of this whole thing because they can now grow up with a good foundation. It will change everything, everything. The kids get to play. All what we need to do is train now. When we started, some people thought we were crazy. But I believe with time, we'll be part of the hockey powerhouse in Africa.